Fortnite was updated with Unreal Engine 5.1 and it looks amazing. I am running it right now on my Plasma TV, max out at 1080p on my 3080. And take a look at that. <laughs> my 3080 is at 75, 90% is barely giving me 60 frames. It is holding the 60 frames very good though. I have to say uh, for 1080p, <laughs> max out. It does make sense. Maybe the developers, um, that's the setup that they had in, in mind. So maybe they were thinking, huh, maybe some people are buying 3080s and then just playing on a plasma TV that's 1080p. So let's just have this <laughs> feature set for them. So that's the only way those settings make sense because, I mean, if, if I turn off those uh, lumen settings, so we have now reflections with lumen, and global illumination with Lumen. And we cannot use hardware accelerated ray tracing at the same time. So you either use one or the other. And we don't have DLSS. So basically we only have TSR for now. That's gonna be updated, I hope, because DLSS is superior to TSR. Uh, so for now the game we can say has been downgraded <laughs> because if I'm gonna play on my OLED, I'm not going to use these settings and what I want is to get 120 to use black from insertion. And right now, that's going to look worse than before because before I was able to use the LSS and I'm not going to use these settings uh, anyway. But if you have a Plasma TV and you are playing competitive games with a Plasma TV and a 3080, then absolutely, this is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Pixar movie. Absolutely amazing, I have to say. Actually, seriously, you know, without joking, this is the most impressive game I can show anyone on my Plasma TV because it is so colorful. Um, and yeah, it is. It is. I can run it out at 60 frames. The lighting is perfect. It looks like a Pixar movie. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, on my Plasma TV, I have no complaints. <laughs> but if I turn on the OLED, I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong about this. <laughs> the, it's going to look blurry. It's probably the performance, horrendous. Um, yeah, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> so I haven't tried on the OLED yet. But here on the Plasma, it does look impressive, I have to say. But it's too demanding, man. Just too demanding. This makes no sense for a competitive game. No sense. Uh, but, you know, the good thing is you can turn off those features and just use upscaling. The, the bad thing is we don't have DLSS yet. So hopefully they uh, update the game with DLSS. But I'm not a big Fortnite uh, fan anyway. I just install it to see this new Unreal Engine 5.1 because this is how the games are going to look moving forward. Uh, the reason why I have the camera on my hand is because you see some artifacts sometimes. The Plasma TV is very difficult to record. You see more patterns when I get the camera closer sometimes. So yeah, the reason why I was interested in trying Fortnite is because this is how the new Unreal Engine 5.1 games are going to look. Actually, they are not going to look as good as this because this is epic. <laughs> Fortnite is epic games. Is the Unreal Engine. Uh, I mean, so there's not going to be any developer doing a better job than Epic themselves. So this is the reference. This is, I would say, this is the limit of how good Unreal Engine 5.1 is going to look. They might improve the performance over time and the features and you know DLSS and add this and that but this is it this is how the, the next generation games are going to look so if I don't like how this looks I'm screwed <laughs> so I'm trying to like it and I do like it it looks very good I have to say it looks very very good and that upscaling technique is is good uh, maybe not as good as DLSS, but it is looking very good. And yeah, 
I'm just gonna turn off all those high-end features try to get 120 uh, hopefully they update DLSS soon and yeah I was playing Fortnite at 120 uh, or 100 I don't remember the settings exactly on the OLED but it was looking very very good in motion very very good and the plasma TV looks amazing in motion the, un the only problem with the plasma TV's uh, motion with this one that I have I don't know if uh, of course a different plasma a better one uh, is going to have better motion but the limitation of the motion clarity of the plasma TV is not the persistence the persistence is very low the limitation is uh, the responsiveness of the pixels basically so if you move too fast you get blur but the blur is not because of the persistence the persistence is very low it's like four milliseconds so it's like 240 hertz uh, display like a 240 hertz sample and hold display but the problem is that doesn't hold up because when you move the camera too fast you get blur due to other reasons that are not the persistence so we can say the plasma tv does not follow the blur busters law closely that's how that's what we can say so persistence is not all that matters here but yeah i mean try it if you if you didn't know that now fortnite supports uh, unreal engine 5.1 try it out see if you like it and if you have a plasma tv and a 3080 <laughs> definitely let me show you the the settings i'm using before i end the video uh, this is 1080p okay <laughs> this is 2880 by 1620 this is nvidia deep learning super resolution and then i have all the graphics and epic tsr quality 66 percent of that resolution i'm using that's 1080p and you see these two lumen epic settings everything is in epic and you cannot use hardware accelerated ray tracing at the same time you either use one or the other and it is fantastic i have to say those reflections are looking very very good not as good as with ray tracing though because with ray tracing you can move the camera down and you still see the the reflections uh with this one you can you don't see the reflections i tried that already it's like a screen space reflections it's closer to screen space reflections uh, but it looks with a higher resolution it does have a higher resolution maybe it doesn't have occlusion problems like screen space reflections uh, but it's not as good as the as uh, ray tracing as ray trace reflections basically but yeah it is looking fantastic let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions and if you're happy now to be able to play like a competitive Pixar movie on your plasma TV. <laughs> um, but yeah, even on a 4090, I was watching a video. It's very, very difficult to run. It, it was barely uh, running at 60 frames at 4K, at native 4K, dropping below 60, <laughs> which is insane. On a 4090, you cannot get 4K native 4k with the game max out 60 frames is not enough for the sample and hold displays that we have today that's what these companies need to understand they need to prioritize uh, high frame rates uh, and forget about these features that just destroy the performance of the game um, yeah, it's, it's nice to have them but they have to prioritize options that give you uh, insanely high frame rates before uh, these high-end features in my opinion so yeah I'm gonna end the video here